Hello everyone and welcome back to World War II Solitaire Board Game Channel and for the first time ever, World War II Solitaire Board Game News. So as I spoke to you about earlier, you know, I'm currently in my RV and I kind of have to innovate a little bit. It's kind of hard to record my game sessions here, so I thought, well, what should I do? Well, what about doing a new show every month about, the, you know, up all the updates and news going on in the, you know, board gaming community regarding uh, World War II Solitaire board games. So that's just what I'm going to do. So for the first time ever, World War II Solitaire board game news. So first up, designer Vincent Cooper shares playtesting pictures of his design, Assault Merville Battery. Vincent Cooper is also currently the designer for the next Valiant Defense game. This is not the first time that Cooper shares pictures from his design, and as we can see here from some older photos of the game, the game has come quite a way since the beginning. This is definitely a game that I look forward to playing once it's out in retail. The Kickstarter for Battle Card by Postmark Games has just finished successfully. Out of the goal of $1,219, about 4,000 backers brought in approximately $20,000 to the project. The Battle Card system is a series of print at home micro solitaire games designed by David Farmson and Nils Johansson. You might know David Farmson from designs like Pavlo's House and Undaunted. And if the name Nils Johansson sounds familiar, it is because he was the art designer of Farmson's earlier game, Lancer's Ridge, released by DVG. If you're curious about the battle card system, you can try out Battle Card Market Garden, which is the first game in the series, and it's totally free. The Battle Card Kickstarter includes five games, the Malayan Campaign, Moro River and Motan. It would also include two other scenarios which has not yet been announced. For all of you Spanish-speaking wargamers out there, good news. Mike Lambo has released two of his famous wargame books now in Spanish. Fields of Normandy or Campos de Normandia and Battles of Normandy, Bastellas de Normandia is now available on Amazon for only 18 euros. Designer Michael Rinella shows us a demonstration copy of the next game to come in the Solitaire Area Movement series, which is called Battle of Manila, the Savage Trees 1945. Map and counter art is done by Charles Kibler, and the game is expected to release in January or February of 2024. Legendary wargame designer Gregory Smith teases us with a photo of a prototype copy of his coming game Carrier Ace. According to Smith, it's quite far away from release, but it's still cool to see it and it kind of starts one's imagination about how the game will be. You can now sign up for the coming Kickstarter for the Battle of Kalkin Gol, published by Princep Games. I also got some pictures here of the first production example from the factory. The Battle of Kalkingo is a two-player game that will also feature a solo mode, and that solo mode will be uh, similar to that of Freezing Inferno that was released earlier this year. The Kickstarter launches on the 24th of October, and the price is set at 65 US dollars. You can now pre-order the upcoming solo twin pack, Cities of the Damned. One of the games included in covers the Battle of Aachen and the other game covers the Battle of Casino. Uh, the games have two different designers, Mike Rinella and Paul Rohrbaugh. You might know Mike Rinella from Stalingrad Advance to the Volga. Uh, that's a game that was uh, released earlier this year and has received excellent reviews from users on BoardGameGeek uh, forum. Uh, Roarboss has uh, designed hundreds of games and this is not his first World War II solo. Uh, we also seen his games uh, designs like Deaths of Courage, The Attack of Gibraltar Harbor. And the game is um, included in Against the Odds magazine issue number 60. It's going to cost $24.95 US dollars for US buyers and $47.95 US dollars for international buyers. Jorge Armando Aroca shows us some concept art for his coming B17 game. Hopefully it's another solo, although it hasn't been confirmed. 
We know Jorge well from his previous print and play solo titles like the excellent and inexpensive game Panzer Dice, which has been featured on this channel. The successful Kickstarter for the second edition of the 8th Air Force has started to arrive among excited players around the world. This new upgraded uh, edition features a mounted map and beautiful new art. Backers are still waiting for the 20th Air Force to begin shipping, uh, but that should start very soon. Designer John Grills is planning a mass escape with his game The Great Escape. Next year, on the 24th of March, it's the 80th anniversary of The Great Escape. So to remember the 50 that lost their lives, the designer proposes a mass escape attempt to see how many players we can get playing The Great Escape on that day. So if you want to join in this great campaign, simply join the Facebook group called The Great Escape Card Game. This month we have six new game entries on Board Game Geek database for World War II solo games. First up is Mastering Resistance Orange Gobby, a sol solitaire game of unconventional warfare behind the lines in World War II Italy. We also have Operation Canuck, a short solitaire game about resistance warfare in 1945 Italy. Poland, a valiant defense, the Soviet attack of September 17th. This is a solitary print and play game, squad level hex and counter war game. And then we have Battles Western Europe, Defend Ardennes against another German invasion, and Battles South Pacific, lead your Australian commandos in the Solomon Islands. And finally we have a new entry for the Battle of Kalkingo, which is the World War II war game covering the border clash between Imperial Japanese and USSR, and it's the same game that will launch on Kickstarter the 24th of October. Legion War Games has made one completely new title available for pre-order on their website, as well as a new expansion pack for an existing game. So first up is A Forgotten Sideshow. Uh, a Forgotten Sideshow is a solitaire game that recreates the marine air participation in the reduction of the Japanese stronghold at Rabul, New Britain. You, the player, will be flying the Corsair stationed at Piva Airfield on the island of Bougainville. Your goal will be to survive a six-month tour of combat during which you will be attacking a variety of targets in the area. And there's two versions of this game and it also comes with advanced rules. There's also uh, announced a new expansion pack for the solo game target for tonight. Uh, it's going to be target for tonight, Italian Campaign Expansion. And here you see a picture with uh, some few examples of the new counters in this new expansion pack. And that, my friends, marks the end of this news report, World War II Solitaire Board Games News in October 2023. I hope you enjoyed the show and I hope to be able to continue doing this moving on. I had fun doing it. I hope you had fun watching it. Okay, guys, take care. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. See you in the future.